Hi everyone, this is Kushi from the campus of Tata Institute of Social Sciences, Guwahati, and I'm really excited to present to you the first episode of Goonj. As we all know, Bhavan Mela 2020 is just around the corner, and the preparations are in full swing. However, we have managed to steal Pranati and Yasser, even coordinators for Bhavan Mela 2020, to give us a sneak peek of the event. To begin with. Could you introduce our listeners to this year's theme for Vaumalan? Yeah, thank you, Kushi. Uh, I'm personally very excited to be here. And I'm very thankful to Ritham also like to have such a good initiative, the goons. So yeah, when when I go for the answer, the theme of this Vaumalan is resistance. It will be very different and it will be very interesting also. Pradhi can add something more. Yeah, definitely. I mean uh like Piyasa mentioned, when we talk about resistance, we mean we can mean very different things of what our identity means to us. So through this theme of resistance, we're trying to understand not just what resistance means to us as individuals, but also as a campus when we talk about resistance. The different identities that we all hold, the different backgrounds and uh, cultures that we all come from. And as a collective, as an institute, what do we understand by the word resistance? That's what we're trying to unlearn, learn, relearn, deconstruct, build again. And we really hope that it gives us space to be able to explore what we mean by this specific word. Can you quickly describe the reason behind choosing this theme? The reason behind this means that, like, uh, if we say there's a technical reason and we and there is some others like also. So if we are going to for the technical reason, like, uh, in council, student council, they decided for two events, which one is resistant week and another one like which annual phase like Vamala. Mm-hmm. So the resistant week uh, is postponed because of the CAA protest in December. So now we have two events come together. So in GBM, the council asked the opinion of students and it's clubbed together. But for me personally, I like completely believe and like very interesting to have a resistance as a theme of Vamalan because this old thing yeah which we are know that what's happening around us and we like it's a very learning process to have also yeah definitely I mean when we're talking about uh, why the specific theme was chosen it's very important to understand how we have normalized a certain way of what fest should be what song should be played at a fest, what the definition of fun is, what yeah. entertainment means to us. And it's very important to keep questioning it, to deconstruct it. Current political scenario of the country, a lot of institutes have decided to not have their fest altogether. But this Guwahati, if it's decided to have Vau Milan with the theme of resistance, we're trying to bring together intersectionalities of our identities, um, of what these terms, these very technical terms mean to us in very real terms, um, not just inside classrooms, but also outside it as well, to understand what we mean by fun, what we consume in terms of knowledge, what we understand in terms of um, you know entertainment and how we can perhaps think about all of it again. The, the whole point of this theme is to think. And we really hope that uh, somewhere or the other, whether it be the selection of songs or how we construct our stage or um, how we view a fest as a whole, we, we, we hope we're just able to ignite a spark in being able to think again. So your answer makes me think in a new direction because, uh, you know, resistance has been seen in a understood in a negative connotation for a very long time. But I think that resistance is the way for the marginalized voices to break out of the oppression that has been caused to them uh, due to a few dominant voices. So how would you say is the response from the student side regarding the theme and in terms of participation? Yeah, from our friend circle, like which I'm around the people, when we introduced the idea, like not we, like when the idea came, the theme as a resistance for the Vamalan. Everyone is so excited. Like, see, because we have an idea of the celebration, now we are deconstructing. So, clubbing resistance as a theme of Vamalan, it seems like maybe like it cannot be joined like that. So, but people are very excited. But we, we are, yeah, we sure we are getting mixed opinions also. But soon when we like release the concept note and all, 
everyone's so excited like lots of people are changing their conception like not changing the conception like they're understanding more so i think in that way yeah yeah i mean taking on from there talking about the concept note i think uh, for me to personally to understand how people are viewing this theme a, a huge medium of that has been something that yasin and i thought of um, along with our third coordinator uh, which was an ideas form so i'm sure you guys have seen it around the dining hall the academic block administrative block canteen uh, we all, we wanted that there is enough space for people to register what they are thinking and i mean sure a lot of uh, um, you know uh, vandalism in a way is also happening about uh, how perhaps there are certain issues that people should be uh, you know negotiating within themselves like say no fighting <laughs> which makes us chuckle but it also gives us enough space to be able to understand that this is what the student body is thinking and while offline forms is one part of the deal online forms have also helped us understand more about the sort of events that people want um if i had to talk in terms of um participation in particular events uh, our event coordinators so far are quite happy with the response that they are getting and uh, we are just hoping that we get more participation um i think the critical point behind this should be that all ideas most ideas if not all should be sourced from ground up and sure there's an organizing committee that is going to be conceptualizing it further but if there is no belongingness that the people of the campus feel with it then it would work out differently but i cannot deny that there have been extremely mixed views about um the theme of resistance Okay, considering the mixed opinions that you mentioned, what are uh, what do you think about it, and what are we doing to bring everyone into the fold? So, when we are talking about these mixed opinions, I think it's very important to um, first of all acknowledge that they exist, but also to understand why they exist in the first place. Because I th- personally, I think a huge part of it is because people have, like we mentioned earlier, associated fests with a certain type of music, with a certain type of ambience. And whenever you have to deconstruct and then reconstruct it, it just seems like so much work because we've already normalized something. So when we are asked to dance, we automatically have some songs that we have in mind. When we talk about singing, there are automatically some songs that we have in mind. But when we have to make something from scratch it makes our job so much tougher and we're really hoping that with this wow milan rethinking in a way however painful it might be helps us all discover new parts of ourselves so when you talk about getting people into the fold sure the ideas form has been one part of it we've also been trying to go from person to person in a way uh, like concurrent circles rise uh, uh, approaching them trying to understand what people want why they are receiving it or not receiving it but at the end of the day i think the bottom line remains that resistance as a theme irrespective of what people would accept or not because it has been the dominant narrative for so long resistance to the theme of resistance is very normal and it becomes thus very important for us to stick to the theme to stick to what it stands for while understanding why people are not going with it fully but also trying to be very creative if i may take another second and add that people i mean it's not like we've take like we've only added more spaces for people to be able to express themselves uh, be it in terms of the music choices we are literally just saying let's get more languages into the fold let's get more varieties into the fold for everything and for us to even be able to say more we are already assuming a normal let's break this conception of normal that's what we are hitting at we we are hitting at getting we are hitting at inclusivity we are hitting and the only thing that we do want to exclude which we are very clear about because there are certain no's as well is problematic things like casteism is problematic things like sexism is problematic things like patriarchy and we are in fact very happy that people have to think twice before they pick a song to dance on if it's sexist if people have to think twice about picking a song uh, that represents a particular brand of association that has been extremely casteist and transphobic and sexist for so long we are very happy that at least thinking is there somewhere or the other and we'd only want this to continue as the fest approaches in real time as well adding one more point that see people have the opinion when we are considering the resistance as a theme of formalan 
so but i am strongly believe that when the schedules are out when the whole events are out when people are know it will be very excitement see resistance is not just keeping mute like keeping silent it's also a celebration i think when the schedules and events which uh, plan will be out it will be yeah there are loads of celebration it's it will be a celebration it's nothing like it's not a resistance to keep our silent it will be a celebration of uh, resistance i really like how you said that it would be a celebration of resistance of voices and uh, also uh, the fact that you guys have mentioned about you know the mixed opinions personally i feel that lot of mixed opinions are due to numerous baseless rumors which have been going around like bollywood is not a- allowed or you cannot pick songs from bollywood instead of just putting that uh, you cannot put uh, any kind of songs which have sexist or transphobic or xenophobic content or any casteist content it has been mainly put forward as bollywood is not allowed hindi is not allowed which has been uh, the reason for outrage for a lot of people i think it's also important then to uh, for us to reflect why bollywood and hindi <laughs> have been associated with these terms in the first place i think that's the question that people need to go back to we have not put that word but if people are associating casteism sexism and patriarchy with bollywood then hey that's some food for thought that's not coming directly from us that's coming from the people themselves and i think that's great too that's thinking so i really hope this interview makes people think now let's move on to some personal questions since you know guys like you know that coordinating is such and in uh, even that involves a lot of time and effort so what led you to joining the organizing committee <laughs> when i talk about this say my personal opinion similar when we when we discussed about the last question that's the dominant narrative what we which constructed on ourselves similar thing it's happened to me also when i went to that gbm also when they decided to make a resistant it's very new to me like it's very a strange thing to me so i want to learn that like how we can climb resistance or what is the resistant means also like so it's a learning process to for me even it's take a lot of times anyway it's a learning process what we are what like we are supposed to be here and it's the team itself that's make me here to st- like come here and learn in this way which dominated by some cultures or some yeah something I think like agreeing with you sir I think it's the theme that um, magnetically pulled me towards uh, uh, signing up for the um, organizing committee it does take a lot, lot of time and effort but I think more it's worth it at the end of the day because you're getting to learn so many new ideas you're getting to learn so many new um, strands of thought and you're getting to unlearn so much um hypocrisy so much problematic things that we've actually been normalized and fed with that it it's it's a great learning opportunity for all of us but i think i just wanted to contribute my bit to the institute in a way because all of us have a lot of complaints and issues about things but i think um, it it also helps us when we're involved in a process to understand not just the process but to also come up with creative solutions um and to work towards building something so like yasir mentioned to deconstruct this dominant narrative and to build it again to think about it more that's what pushed us together in this journey <laughs> and, and, and if i make a point when i went for the gbm so when i hear the topic like when i hear this, it's interesting like it's now work comes in my thought or anything in myself so it's like very new to me and yeah it's make us interested now mm-hmm. yeah in a way and i'm so thank you for pranati also yeah we are working together and it's like yeah Same it's like it's going it's going great it's going great. we are learning lots of definitely. and unlearn so definitely so it was nice to hear this opinion <laughs> and of course that's why we also started booch to actually yeah. do something about uh, what has been going on instead of just complaining you know those mm-hmm. kudos to that uh, let's move to the next question uh so you know among all the preparations and the events which have been uh, happening which has been going on what are you personally looking forward to the most oh um, i think um, there are mul- i don't know how to answer it you know when you're involved in organizing everything it's like <laughs> being asked to choose between <laughs> your favorites but if i had to pick something um mm, there are 
a lot of musical performances lined up okay like uh, there's more than one musical performance lined up and we're really excited about it because um, all these uh, uh, all these people who are coming to perform are coming and uh, performing in different languages uh, they're talking about things that are really personal to them and um, the other aspect that's really exciting me is that we are planning to have workshops this year which is uh, we're planning to have like closed hands on sessions uh with people who are coming to give talks to us so these panelists are not just alien figures who are going to be talking to us and going back but we're asking them what their interests are what they would want to perhaps you know make us understand better or what they would want to teach us and i think that one on one interaction uh would be something that will benefit the students in more ways than one than just sitting in like a classroom format but i think um if i again had to pick one of my other favorite things uh, we have a very special poetry and performance session by uh, a group uh, which is coming in on the 8th called itam gur if i'm pronouncing that right which is a group of mia poets who are coming in and talking to us about what resistance has meant to them uh, what their poetry what their very existence has meant to us and i think that will be something that i'm very excited about besides the food fest of course <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's similar see as an organizing committee like which like this whole thing are very excited me see and this whole thing are like see as i mentioned earlier like see we are deconstructing so this whole event and like make me more excited so choosing one to like any which i looking forward it's a difficult and yeah if i think like sumit is performing a rap it not only rap uh, workshop on rap and yeah i think more more events are also there and the uh, as she mentioned the mia poetry they are coming out so it's i think yeah i think it will be very nice and and moreover uh, on 6th we have miso chip chap good no chap chap okay yeah. uh, okay so on 6th we have that first you like we are it, it's it's coincided the, the, the dates are coinciding it happened how it's celebrated in mizoram haha uh-huh. so i think yeah it's been that other also i am just waiting just for that and as a pudi person yeah i am waiting for the all food to have <laughs> and like, yeah, let's wait let's see it will be very nice like it's celebration of area celebration of resistance <laughs> Okay uh quickly i would like to ask something hmm. how many music performances are we looking forward to mm, if we count the ones that our students are giving to then we count like, like i mean we have a, a, like we counting the whole student performance set as one then we have more than three so we have like music performances almost every night and we are trying that uh, it actually happens every night and all these types of music performances are very different in different languages and in different forms so from rap to having a band that actually intertwines makes their own in- instruments and intertwines environment with what they're performing and they perform great music actually we'll be circulating links and all soon um to having a, a group of people uh, who are going to be performing about um a social cause that they've been involved in and um, they're coming in all the way from darjeeling so we're very excited to be hosting them as well and uh, on 9th uh, we're f- keeping our fingers crossed <laughs> to get this confirmation from this one last artist we've been waiting for um, who we're very excited about and yeah that that's that's literally just the music performances from outside besides this we have so much talent within our college how do we even start talking about that <laughs> and, and, and one more point it's like i think when this whole events happen after the ninth evening or on the 10th morning the rumors it will be the best swamaran happening in tss because that much panelists that much performance are happening there which doesn't happen for any other. long years but well, i think yeah it will be nice well it sounds very interesting and i hope that what you said that this would be the best swamaran in all the years that it has been conducted comes right. true <laughs> yeah comes true yeah so uh, let's move on to the next question shall we what is the most fun and the most challenging task that you had to undertake so so um when we talk about the fun fact see the <laughs> when we take in this interview like this conversation also it's very fun yeah. so the whole whole event it, itself a fun celebration it's a learning so yeah i think like most fun 
every events like conduct not conducting also just being with this old thing just witnessing how it happens yeah i think it will be very I nice and it. even yeah this i, I have I, i can say that this part like when i'm just talking with you with gunj yeah it's very nice to me also for it's a personal compliment compliments na what about challenging you forgot oh, that okay. part <laughs> see when the fun comes we forgot about challenge so challenge <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the most challenging task i think that we already discussed in the questions like that the most most of your questions also so challenging part is comes like how do the different opinions how we club it together how make it in mm-hmm. one fold how to make the same page that was a, like still we have challenging part there i think yeah but soon it will be sold and everyone will be part of it and i think yeah it will be a great event so um for me i think uh, let's start with challenging okay let's get to the fun <laughs> parts later uh, budgeting oh my god budgeting <laughs> is such a pain there are so many numbers and then there are so many great people to invite and you have to constantly pick and choose people we can choose people who are doing great work because of um, your budgetary constraints so i think that's the most challenging part of it all and of course as yasir mentioned like when people are putting in like days and nights for this because of a couple of like no like misconceptions i really hope that like yeah this eventually cl- clar- like clears out because see um if i had to give a very simple analogy uh, if we want to have a particular type of fun with a particular type of music it's as simple as going to the city and walking into a club you'll get a certain type of music you'll get a certain type of ambiance but the challenge arises when you want to break out of that notion when you want to experience a different type of music which is not that different which is where most of us come from but considering that fun that by itself has proven to be a challenge for us to be able to put it across in the scene but fun yes talking about fun i think conceptualizing everything uh, you know planning out the workshops uh, deciding on the panelists again who's going to be sitting for what session in fact getting to know them better i think that's a lot of fun and of course the the food bit of it <laughs> and the music bit of it and um yeah i think uh, resistance as a team getting to unlearn has been so much fun it it growth is fun it it's as simple as that no and, and if i make one more comment like when he she said uh, budget so there are lots of uh, there are lots of uh, participants or which we are invited they are like not taking the their fees mm-hmm. uh, and even sometimes they are taking care of their travel expenses also yeah so i think in that way see uh, it's not a challenging it's not a fun but i'm just saying that how people are liking this team like when we are called for the participants and when we call for the panelists and all i think that more people are just saying they taking the like this course and they taking themselves so i think i think we can cut this part like no, after no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i i think everyone like even the participants like the panels the participants like which invited so far they also very liking this team that that's i tried to like articulate yes sir first of all thank you for saying that you were having fun with us <laughs> we sure hope that you are doing this so and uh, next thing which i wanted to mention is you guys are hyping up the food so much i'm so hungry right now <laughs> Finally, do we have something special in store for the audience, or maybe a message you would uh, like to send across? Please come for Wow Milan 2020. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> no, seriously, like uh, we're really hopeful that once people see the schedules, uh, people can connect with from like the topics of the discussions in the panels to the performances that are going to happen. to literally everything that has been planned out and especially the stage that's been set for students themselves what am i most excited about uh, well what something special is i think our stage is something to watch out for our stage is literally very tangibly bridging the gaps between the performer and the uh, audience and we really pumped about it but it's so difficult to pick like one specific thing is special because every single thing in this Uh, lineup is so special to us because of its scene because of resistance and 
I think Yasser would agree with me on this. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I like similar. Like everything is special. Every moment is special. Exactly. Every events are special. Mm-hmm. Everything is special. So please come for the Vamala. It will be make you more learn. You make me more unlearn and give me some word. <laughs> <laughs> It will make us um, unlearn, relearn, and deconstruct what has been taught to us. But not that. And celebrate Vamala twenty twenty, please. Thank you, Pranati and Yasir, for joining us on Thank this episode. You. Thank you so much, Kishi. We hope that Pamalan 2020 is a great success. Guys, I hope you enjoyed listening to our first episode. Please show us your love by following us on Spotify. You can also follow us on our Insta. Our Insta handle is tis underscore goonj. That is T-I-S-S underscore G double O. NJ to keep up with our latest updates. Thank you for listening and have a great day.